Ugh, they're going. Don't you hate it when the kids leave things hanging around? It's actually a hazard. I'll tell you what, I'm getting older. I used to be able to do that quite easily. Now, I'll put this to the side, because this is more my style. <laughs> so the idea is to get them off the floor and onto the wall. To do that, I've got two pieces of 190 by 19 dressed pine and some 25 mil dowel. The first step is to mark it up and temporarily screw these together. With my four screws temporarily holding this together, I've already marked my 45 degree angles away from those screws, so now I'm going to use my drop saw to cut them. If you don't have a drop saw, you can use a hand saw or a circular saw. My two 45 degree angles cut. Now I can cut up my 25 mil Tassie Oak dowel. I need 10 at 220 and 6 at 140. With our dowels all cut, we're now ready to mark out where they go on our timber. So with a combination square, I'm going to be marking in 35 mil from each edge and drawing two lines down. Now I'm marking up where the supports go. With those lines marked, next I want to mark out where our skateboards go. So for that, I'm going to be starting at one of the long points and measuring down 80 mil, and from there, I'll make five spaces 200 mil apart. With the five 200 spacings marked, now I can mark out for where the scooters go. For that, we need to offset our lines. So starting from our last mark, we'll go 85 mil and then 140 and continue that until I get to the end of the timber. Now this rack will end up holding five skateboards and three scooters. With all our measurements marked along this edge, I now want to transfer them to our two parallel lines that we did earlier. For that, I'm just using my combination square set on a 45 degree angle. With all our intersecting points marked, we're now ready to start drilling out for the dowel. For that, I'm just using a 25 mil spade bit. Now you can see I've got some tape on there, and that's set to the depth of one piece of timber, because I only want to drill through the one piece. And the way it works, you just have this little flag on the end, and when that flicks the timber away, you know you're at the right depth. <laughs> Now, the reason why I drilled these holes with these two bits laminated together is because we've been left with the centre mark on every hole from the tip of our spade bit, which means now I can change the bit over to a 4 mil drill bit, drill the holes right through, and that will be the centre mark of where we put our screw to hold the dowel in place. With all the prep done, we are now ready to start assembling. feeling nice and solid. And you just want to make sure that you keep the glue away from all the holes so they're nice and clean. But before we put our dowels in, I'm just going to go over everything with a sander. That way we'll get rid of all our marks and those sharp edges. And we're ready for the dowel. The way it works, the shorter ones are for the scooter, and they go into the holes that are offset. And then the longer ones are for the skateboard, and they go into the holes that are on a 45 degree angle and in line. I'm just going to glue and screw them together. But you just want to make sure that you pre-drill into the dowel. That way, you'll prevent the timber from splitting and also cracking the head off your screw. Beautiful. All that's left is to make this look pretty before we hang it. Now, 
And I think that he's looking fantastic. The last thing to do is find somewhere to put it. And once you've found a place where you want to put it on the wall, to fix it off, you just want to sit a level on the 45 degree cut. Get the bubble in between the two lines. Once you're happy with it, you can fix it off.